Hey Team Ford, this is Al. I'm here just doing a quick tutorial around the updating of your inventory in Bless. Um, and hopefully I'll show you some tips and tricks that you guys might have not been doing and then make this a lot easier for you. Um, so as you guys can see, <coughs> I'm logged into Bless and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my inventory section. Um, from there, I'm going to go into all inventory. And now I have my list of inventory that's in the system. As you'll see, it defaults to um, 10 items. And you can update this by just changing the count to you know, whatever number. Um, but the easiest method of doing this is actually by just searching. So depending on what you want to, want to update, you can just start typing it in, and it'll narrow down the, the results. So for example, if I was looking up leggings for se, per se, I can just start typing in leggings and it returns things that are leggings related. Um, so as you can see some things, it's, it's not perfect as it returns like Irma's and perfect tees. Um, other ways you can do this to, to narrow it down is by putting something that's very unique to that. So if I was looking for just one size, I could just type in that word one size exactly. And as you can see, as I started typing it in, it returned only the one size leggings. Now to update something, you're just gonna click the, the item and, <clears throat> excuse me, and what's gonna happen is you're gonna see your ID, your warehouse, the item, the price, the quantity that you have. From there, you can click the pencil. So either this one or this one, it doesn't matter. They both go to the same place and you can now just change your quantity. So I'm gonna change this to Let's say 200. So once I hit update, now my quantity says 200. It says inventory updated. The easiest way to go back is, at least what I found, is just in the URL, delete that number there for the ID and then hit enter. And then you'll see it brings me back here. So I can go hit it again, click the pencil, change it back to 254. Hit update. And the other way you can get back is the way you first got in there by going to inventory, all inventory, and you're back in that same spot. I chose to delete the ID at the end because it was a lot less clicks, um, but it really comes down to your personal preference. So that's the basics of updating your inventory. Um, what else you can do in here, which I found was easy, especially when you're doing like multiple styles, like say for example, if I just did a search for Azure, um, you can type it in here and you have all your different styles. What I did is I actually just copied what I typed here in the search, went into the one I wanted to update, did my updating as I would normally do. So pretend I changed this from five to another number hit update, and then I would just delete that, hit enter, and then just paste the Azure in, so it saved me from having to manually type Azure or whatever that style in is over and over again. Um, so that helped make it a, a less tedious and time consuming, so, um, but it really comes down to whatever you're, you're comfortable doing. So in a nutshell, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, um, post below, just and I'll answer them as we go along. And if you guys see a need for anything, a video, a tutorial, or, or you know whatever from the system spec standpoint, feel free to just shout out in, in the team page, and I'll see what I can do to put something up pretty quickly. All right, thanks. Hope you guys are having a great day. Bye.